So, are you ready to move into your new home and, oh no, you need a mailbox key. Is your mailbox one of those in a cluster? Typically, the seller doesn't give you their mailbox key and really and truly you want it to be secure and you want it to be your own. So before you drive to the closest post office, call and make sure your house is actually on one of the carrier routes. The closest post office is not necessarily your home post office. So you can call 800-275-8777 or go to the United States Post Office find location. They'll tell you which post office you should go to. We have several post offices here in the Brazos Valley. We have College Station, a couple in Bryan, Welburn, um, Curtin. So the post office also won't give you keys without knowing that you actually own the property. They'll look up your address. They'll need the street number and the box number. They'll need closing information or a lease. And once you provide the documentation, they're going to get you a new key. There is a minimal fee, typically $20. They'll go out and change the lock so that you have your own key. And I know in practice, the seller usually keeps their mailbox key as the buyer is going to get a new one for the, from the post office. This way, access to the box is secure and you can be sure that no one else has an extra key. After about a week after going to the post office, your key is going to be ready for pickup. So place a hold on your mail ask to pick it up at the post office. This way your mail will be available at the post office and not sitting in your mailbox. Sometimes the keys take, can, can take up to like five days to receive. So here was just another tip about things to know before you move in. Send me a direct message if there's anything I can do for you. I'm Susan Hilton, the broker owner of Century 21 Beale here in Bryan College Station.